friends and uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, it's been a while. Uh, for those who don't know, I, I just graduated college uh, on, in the middle of December, um, so I took quite a bit of a break uh, from YouTube and basically everything else in my life to, uh, you know, finish finals and everything and, and get my, <laughs> my college existence in order. Uh, but as I said, I graduated, so I'm back and we are rapidly approaching a new year. Uh, it is actually 5 p.m. on New Year's Eve day, uh, and so before I eat a ton of pizza and get super drunk on mimosas, I thought I would uh, show off my, or share with you anyway, uh, my goals for 2022 as well as the notebook and planner system I uh, at least planning, <laughs> I'm intending to use to hold myself accountable. Um, yeah, so let's just <laughs> jump right in. Um, for starters, this is the uh, Footprints cover um, for the A6 size. It's a Hobonichi cover. Um, yeah, Footprints by Saul Leiter. Uh, I love this cover. Um, I'm not historically a cover person. I've never really understood why people use them, um, but I went sort of crazy this season. Um, I had my birthday November 18th, uh, 17th, excuse me. I graduated college December 18th, and then um, Christmas obviously was the 25th, and I had sort of um, an influx of money slash gifts, um, and uh, you know, I know, I gave myself a license to buy <laughs> entirely too many stationary products um, for like um, over a month uh, long period, and this was one of them, and I, I absolutely adore this. It's so cute. Uh, for those who don't know, it's just like a, you slip your book into the sides. It's like a folio um, of the planner cover, and then there are pockets on the side, which people typically, you know, you can keep stickers or you can use it as a wallet and keep like your credit cards and stuff in here. I, for my part, have um, the little card that comes with the cover, which just has a miniature version of the cover. Um, I have this, which is a um, a Pizza John sticker from Pizzamas. If you know, you know. Um, and then I have just some post-it notes that I cut down to fit inside these pockets. And then this is uh, the Hobonichi A6 Techo. Um, in the English. So it's just a daily um, planner. Um, there's monthly spreads in the beginning and then, you know, every day of the year you get a spread. There's like a, a monthly dashboard page and then it's just one page per day. Um, yep. And then the other thing I have, which is what we're really here to see, uh, is this. This is a um, Hobonichi A6 a notebook. It's just a really thin notebook. It has like 48, it has like 48 pages of Tomoe River paper in it. Um, so it's, you know, again, super thin. Um, and they're designed to be able to slip into, this is a bad example. Um, if you had a plastic cover on this, you would be able to slip this inside the plastic cover and it would sit nestled within the notebook because it's smaller than the A6. Um, there's, they sell them for A5 and the Hobonichi Weeks as well, um, both of which I also have. I love these. I love these like more than the planners themselves, I think. I mean, not really, but they're amazing. I wanna like, I'm, I'm fighting the impulse to hoard these um, because I think they're so useful uh, and so, so such brilliant little notebooks. Anyway, um, this, if it's not evident already, uh, this is my goal uh, tracker little companion book that I'm going to walk through, and then I'll talk about how I intend to use the Techo to sort of support my goals in general. Um, but let's just start with the goals themselves, I think. So this is the uh, companion book that I will be housing uh, information on my goals inside. Um, and then this will be kept inside the planner cover with my A6 Techo. Um, I'm just going to walk through the goals themselves, run through those really quick, explain this a little bit, and then I'll go into each goal specifically. Uh, yeah, okay, so my four goals for 2022. 
are first, uh, to overcome my fear of writing, two, get a job, three, pay attention to what I pay attention to, and four, cultivate a wardrobe that better represents who I am. As you will see, um, the second and third goals each have sub-goals um, or sub-tasks um, in the case of the third goal. Um, I'm going to discuss those more specifically uh, when we get to them. Uh, and then down here, I have this section that I've labeled in my orbit. I also, I considered calling this an idea parking lot. Um, but these are like things that I, it would be really nice to do, or like ideas I have for things that I might want to do, but that I'm not committing to. Um, they're just things that I want to keep in mind in case uh, it, it becomes something that I can or should do. Um, and so... The first one is to publish, uh, this is Publish Comfort Women paper. Uh, for my, my final semester of college, I wrote um, a research paper uh, on the comfort women issue in South Korea and Japan, um, and it uh, I was suggested by my professor that I should develop it um, and potentially have it published, so if I want to do that, I need there's a lot of work that goes into it. I am not completely certain if I'm going to, it depends sort of just on how the first month or so of the year shakes out, but it's something to keep in mind. Uh, secondly, is also related to the paper, I want to submit it for an award um, at my college. Uh, third, I have a book review blog. I've been playing with the idea of starting one. I think it would be sort of fun, um, but again, I don't want to like overcommit to that. Um, if it's something, it's here, it's written down. If I want to circle back to it, then I can make it a goal. But at this time, it's just something that I'm keeping in mind. Uh, daily stretching is something I want to do. Um, again, I'm not committing to it. It's just something that would be nice to do, and I have it written down to return to. Uh, third, write monthly essays on big ideas. Um, that's, that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, Non-gaming streams. Uh, <laughs> most, not Maybe not most people who watch this, but um, people who come from my stream will know that I used to stream. Uh, and I might want to do that again. Not entirely sure. It's on my radar. It's in my orbit. <laughs> and then finally uh, is this YouTube channel. If I have time and the energy and I want to, then I can invest. Um, then, it, it, you know, can maybe move into a goal category. But if not, it can just be something I do casually, um, as with all of these. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's the, the front page of this goal workbook or notebook. Um, I just wanted to have my goals front and center and really clear. Uh, and then I'm just going to walk through, uh, in the subsequent pages, I've dedicated a page uh, to each of the goals. So this is goal one, goal two, three, and four. And these contain um, subtasks to be completed. So my first goal is to overcome my fear of writing. Um, again, people who are coming here from, like, my Twitter or Twitch or anything, um, will know me as, like, an esports reporter. Um, so it doesn't make sense to say that I have a fear of writing, but I certainly do. Um, I am a good writer. I enjoy writing. I think that writing is, is vital to my existence. Um, it's what I want to do with my life. Um, but I've sort of developed, uh... A real, a real fear around it, um, where it's really hard for me to um, actually start writing something, which is why uh, in my final semester of college, and even the one before that, um, I could really only start working on my papers when it was like at the deadline, which like screwed me over quite a few times. Um, I could only, I could only write under extreme duress um, when I had no other option. It was just incredibly difficult to get myself to sit down and actually put words to a page. Um, I think there's a lot of various reasons for that, but that I won't go into. Um, but my strategy um, for overcoming that is is basically to write. Uh, a if you can see here, it says daily writing warm-ups, both fiction and non-fiction. I'm going to do a video um, on these because someone asked, and also I don't think this is something people talk about very often, but I really enjoy them. Um, I, I do, I have um, a, a set uh, selection of prompts that are highly repeatable um, that I turn to um, to practice writing in like 15 minutes um, before I dive into like whatever creative writing or like 
essay project I'm doing in a day, um, and I want to do those more regularly. Uh, I have um, a notebook designated for that, which is this. It's just a large term, uh, uh, 1917 uh, lined. It's nice. A main part of this goal of overcoming my fear of writing is is literally just to do it all the time and part of the way to, to getting into doing it, to overcoming that fear and that hump, um, is to start with writing warm-ups every day. Um, the second part of this, um, after the writing warm-ups, you know, uh, the writing that I actually want to get done and to, and to produce, um, is all pertaining to, like, a book that I am working on. Um, my sort of ultimate goal is to become a published author, and so, uh, to that end, I've been working on a book for a while. I've made the mistake in the past of deluding myself into thinking that if I can just plot the story, if I can just get it exactly right, then I'll be able magically to write the book to the outline, to the plot I've got, um, to a T, and then revision and everything will go super quick. Um, this is not the case. Um, I, I really need to um, plot less, honestly, and just start with the writing and sort of let things develop as I go. Um, I think that's the only way at this point that I'm actually going to, like, make progress um, and also just to overcome this fear. Uh, so, yeah. So on one hand, daily writing warm-ups, and on the other, um, I just want to produce um, writing regularly where I puzzle up the story as I go, um, and I am just working on, on you know... <laughs> I'm actually writing the book even though I don't have the plan entirely in place. You will notice that this is not a measurable goal um, at the moment. I'm hesitant to put any like word counts or anything to it because um, uh, I will be... <laughs> my, my other goal is to get a job, um, especially hopefully in quarter one of 2022. So I don't know how my schedule and stuff is going to shake out or what I'm going to be able to do or what's going to be reasonable. Um, but I will say that for now, my goal is basically to write um, either five of seven days a week or ideally uh, every day. Um, but, but we'll see. This will sort of develop. I will check back in with this later. So my second goal is to get a job. <laughs> um, pretty self-explanatory, I think. Uh, I just graduated college. I have student loan debt and, you know, rent payments and stuff. I need to exist as a person. Um, so there's a lot, a lot of subtasks that go into that. And they're like, they're boring things like update LinkedIn and update my resume and that, that sort of stuff. Um, but it's going to take a lot of time and energy. And this honestly is like the number one. It's, it's, it's my second goal because, um, I think writing is like more essential to who I am as a person, um, and my happiness as a person, but this is like the super practical um, goal that I need to accomplish really within the first quarter of the year. And then I have two sub goals related to this. The first is to um, move house. Oh, I think people are setting off fireworks outside and it terrified me. Okay, sorry. Um, yeah, I'm currently living in an apartment on campus, um, well, off campus. I will be here until the summer, which gives me um, a lot of time, as I said, to figure out a job and then figure out where I want to move. Um, these sort of play into each other. Um, I'm going to be searching for jobs in the cities uh, like Columbus, Ohio and Indianapolis, Indiana that I would potentially like to live in. Um, but I will also be, uh, you know, if I get a job in like New York or LA or Chicago or whatever, um, then I will potentially be moving to one of those cities uh, based on that. So these are not entirely dependent upon each other. Um, I mean, one isn't dependent upon the other. Um, they're dependent upon each other. Anyway, <laughs> so this will also have a lot of subtasks once we get to it. Um, but for the time being, because I don't have a job, because I don't really know where I want to move yet. Um, my main tasks here are to uh, visit Columbus and to visit Indianapolis. Um, again, ideally within the first quarter of the year. And then my second goal related to getting a job is to pay off um, a private student loan that I took out. Um, I have federal student loans to pay off as well, but those, um, A, have a lot, uh, their interest rate is a lot lower and uh, they've, they're deferred a lot longer. 
Um, my private student loan is only about 10k and I have been paying interest on it. Uh, it's super doable um, to pay it off uh, in a timely fashion. Um, I just need to get a job. <laughs> I'm actually lucky enough that if I get a job and have like a stable income for a little bit, um, I don't need the full 10k to be able to pay this off. Um, I can like pull from savings and pay it off, but I, I need the stable income first. Sort of subtask for this goal is I'm going on a stationary no-buy for the first six months of 2022. Um, this is partially just, you know, financially speaking, I need to save the money, um, but also uh, I just have a lot of stuff, a lot of stationary items, and like ephemera, and things that I want to use, and I'm going to force myself to use them. Um, I've been doing that lately, and it's been really nice to just sort of work through all the stuff I've collected. And then the second task is to develop a grocery budget. Um, I, I don't have one. <laughs> okay, my third goal is to pay attention to what I pay attention to. Um, this is a quote... Uh, it's actually pay attention to what you pay attention to. But anyway, uh, this is a quote that I know from John Green, but that he he's quoting someone else. Uh, but it's something John Green uh, in like the Anthropocene Reviewed and other content that he's created um, talks about a lot that like really resonates with me and in particular resonates with my um, my difficulties with social media. This this, I said the overall goal of this goal is to boost creativity and minimize distraction, and, and that's as simply as I can put it. I want to um, make a better effort of knowing exactly where my attention is going, and if that attention is not being spent wisely um, in a way that I feel is that I feel comfortable with, that I feel in control of, that I feel is valuable, then I want to work on redirecting that attention to places I find uh, comfortable and valuable and important. So um, with that in mind, I have a couple of strategies that this involves. Um, the first is nightly reflections in my A6 Techo, which is, again, uh, this, which I'll talk about more in depth in a minute. I also have mindful nightly journaling in my A5 Vec. I, I, I will do another video on that, but my journal for the year where I'm going to like record like what I do in a day, that sort of stuff will be an A5 cousin, the Avec version. And I went to journal in that nightly. The way that I've plotted out my, my days, or at least as long as I know what my days will look like, um, is that like every night from 9 to 10 p.m. I'm going to wind down by working in all of these journals. I'm like setting aside a designated hour every night to do this stuff. And when I'm journaling in that Avec, I want it to be focused and intentional and mindful. Um, so no listening to like YouTube or podcasts or anything in the background, um, just like I don't know, instrumental music or something. <laughs> Maintain media journal to encourage self to engage more deeply and critically with more challenging media. Um, my media journal is also right over here. Uh, it is this thing. Uh, this is a Midori notebook uh, in the B6 slim size. Um, so it's like kind of narrow, kind of short. <laughs> I'm always sort of um, trying to explain these terms um, and like refer back to the notebooks and stuff because I have some friends who watch my videos who like aren't nearly as deep into stationery as I am so I want to help them out a little bit. <laughs> anyway, it's just a grid notebook uh, and in here I, um, I take notes on the media that I consume, everything from uh, books to television shows to movies, which are like the obvious big three, um, but also music, um, tweets, and like tweet threads that I see that I think are particularly interesting. Um, a lot of uh, like uh, articles. Um, so this one, for example, this is like seven pages of notes on a New Yorker article that I read called The Case Against the Trauma Plot. It was super interesting. Um, a lot of this is me like snatching like quotes and like just rewriting things but a lot but other sections of it are me like responding to it um and like sharing my own ideas that that are emerged from this um i've done this in the past with uh oh and then up here i, I read the last graduate re recently so good loved it um and, and you know i journaled about that as well um I've done this in the past in different notebooks. Um, I just haven't had a designated notebook for it, and I really want one. 
Um, so that's what this is for. Uh, I find this incredibly useful and it, it really does help with my, my goal of boosting creativity um, because it helps me to engage with really complex ideas. It gives me like an incentive to read more interesting, challenging articles um, and books and things because there's like a space to work out those ideas and to like work out my thoughts in response to those ideas um, versus just reading it and then like not producing anything from it. Um, and then, uh, you know, I also just really like notebooks, <laughs> so it gives me something to journal about. Um, and, and it, I don't know, it like creates a collection of all of the media I've consumed that I found um, important and engaging. Um, so, and, and again, that's media that's like Tumblr posts, tweets, um, if I saw like a really interesting Instagram post or something, which like has never happened, but whatever, um, that all goes in here. I'll do another video on this, uh, once it's a little more full. I just started it, so. Um, what else? Uh, write regularly, see goal number one, so that's sort of obvious. Um, if I, uh, oh, and then the other one is read books regularly. Um, all of this really amounts to, if I'm doing these things, writing and reading, and then also journaling and stuff, that I find uh, valuable and important, then I'm going to be paying attention to, to those things, and thus won't have any attention left to spare, uh, to devote to um, the stuff that I don't find as important, or I don't find as fulfilling or nourishing. So that's the way this goal works. My fourth goal is to cultivate a wardrobe that better represents who I am. Um, this is, I know it's like my fourth goal and it seems sort of out of place, I think, with the other ones, but this is actually super important to me for 2022. Um, I have a sense of style and stuff, but I've never devoted money or time or energy to uh, cultivating a wardrobe that I feel reflects who I am and that I feel really proud to wear. Um, and I really want to do that. Um, I'm like 24. I've just turned 24 now. Um, I think it's time to, uh, you know, have stuff that is A, more adult, um, and thus represents the fact that I, I am no longer like a 17 year old. And then also, again, just uh, uh, reflects who I've become um, in the years since and how my, my taste and style has changed. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff that goes along with this. This will develop over the year. This isn't something I'm looking to finish um, super quickly, and it's something that I'm hoping to do on a budget and while uh, shopping at thrift stores as much as possible. And again, because I want this to be really intentional and like cultivated, I'm going to be very careful to not impulse purchase clothes, because I've done that in the past and then I end up with a bunch of clothes that I don't like. Those are my goals. Um, I hope that made sense. I know it was pretty long. Um, the second part of this video is chatting about this. Um, more specifically, this just slips in over here, by the way. So it'll sit like this. Um, I'm going to put a post-it note either in the front cover um, or on the back cover that breaks down my goals into quarterly tasks and quarterly goals, but I, I haven't done that yet. I might do it in the pages, but I think it's going to be sort of impermanent, so I'd rather just keep it here and be able to update it regularly. This. Okay. So as I said, this is um, an A6 Petro. This is the English version. Um, so the quotes and stuff, everything is in English. Um, and it's just, you know, a page with grid. And, you know, the Sundays are in red. It's really cute. I love the aesthetic of this, and I wanted to use it for something very important to me. And this is super important. So, um, there's this method that I learned, um, about from, if anyone's familiar with 100 Days, which is John Green, uh, and his friend Chris Waters, um, they did 100 Days of, like, exercising and fitness and health. Um, it's an excellent series. If you've never heard of it, it's on YouTube. Um, it's, it's so good for providing a realistic, approachable, um, view of, of exercise and, and fitness generally. Um, but anyway, um, one of the things that they learned or what their therapist recommended was this, uh, three, two, one method where at night you reflect on three things you're proud of or happy with, two things you want to, you wish you'd done better, and then one goal for tomorrow. 
So every night when I have my, my nightly hour of journaling, um, I'm going to reflect on these things. Three things I'm proud of, two things I wish I'd done better, and one goal for tomorrow. Keeping in mind my goals, but not necessarily my goals. If I do something that I'm proud of that doesn't necessarily speak to one of these things, then, then I'm going to write that down. Um, but generally, because these are the ways that I will be spending my day, um, they'll just sort of naturally align. Two things I wish I'd done better in that day, and then one goal for tomorrow. So that'll be the, the top section. And then finally, I'm going to um, reflect on the question of how did I use my attention today? So, um, you know, again, uh, thinking about that idea of attention being a very valuable and important resource that I need to allocate wisely. Um, I'm going to just reflect on that every night. Um, I might give myself like some sort of score or something. I'm not sure how, uh, how quantifiable I want this goal to be. Um, it might just be journaling and I'll just reflect on it. Um, or I'll do maybe some mood tracking um, as an alternative. But either way, um, that's what this journal is going to be for. Um, this is the pencil board. I think it's so cute. Isn't this just so cute? Um, this is again the Saul Lighter, um, the same uh, photographer. Um, yeah, okay, so this has gone on for like 30 minutes, I think, so I'm gonna call it quits there. If you have any questions, um, let me know. Uh, subscribe if you want, or don't. Uh, thanks for watching. Goodbye.